Hello everyone, I'm Ernie and I am so glad you're here with us today. Today we are going to work on some material from Colorado. Morgan from Colorado, his YouTube channel's name is Gold Putts. He sent us some material and we're going to process it to see if we can get any type of precious metal out of it. And we have a word from Morgan and let's hear from Morgan. All right, I'm on a digging mission today. So behind me, I've got one of my one of my local spots where I actually found kind of a kind of a really nice uh, yield of free milling gold just sitting in the quote bedrock. Really, it's just loose kind of alluvium sitting on top of this uh, harder layer here. So I, I promised to Ernie Dion in uh, in Nevada that I would dig out 20 pounds of it so he could do multiply it by a thousand and do a do a one ton assay. Um, in this area, there was actually a, a cyanide heap leach operation until the 1950s. And uh, I, I don't know if Ernie has that kind of capability, but who knows, I mean, he's kind of a wizard with the chemicals. So maybe, he, uh, maybe he'll do some of that, or maybe he'll just pan it out. So I'll leave it up to him. All right, I sipped it through a bucket of material that I collected. Here I've got the kind of big rocks. These are barely rocks. You can break them with your hand, but you can't turn them to dust with your hand, so you need to crush them. Thank you, Morgan from Gold Putts. We appreciate you sending us this material and let's get into this project. Here is the material that we got from Morgan. I had let it sit out in my gold pans for two days so that it would dry out because what I want to do, I want to crush this up, but before I crush it up, I'm going to classify the smaller material here and I'm going to pan it to see if there's any precious metal inside the finer material. We're going to take the smaller material and run it through a quarter inch and an eighth of an inch classifier and I will pan this out to see if we get any type of precious metals in this material. I do want to mention is that we only got 10 pounds so we are working with 10 pounds of material from Colorado. I am now going to crush the material that did not go through the quarter inch classifier. This material is basically dried mud. Here is the concentrate that we got out of the first set of material and there is no gold whatsoever in here. There is some iron and some sulfides. Here are our larger pieces of material and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break them down into smaller pieces so that they'll fit easier into the rock crusher. And let's crush it up.
Unfortunately, once again, there's no gold and just iron and sulfides. I took the two sets of concentrate and combined them into this one pan. I let it dry out. And now what I am going to do is do a fire assay to see if there is any gold in this concentrate. We have nine grams of concentrate to work with. For this smelt, we are going to use 50 grams of Chapman's Flux. The ingredient that makes up Chapman's Flux is 40% anhydrous borax, 20% silica sand, 20% manganese dioxide, and 20% of soda ash. In this fire assay, I am going to use 6 grams of lead and not use any litharge. We have our concentrate and our flux in our crucible. We are going to use our small cone mold and I have it heating on our furnace because the last time I used this cone mold, the cone cooled down too quick and it popped out of the cone mold. If you watch very closely, you will see the lead come out of the pour. I want to apologize for not having all of the video at this point of the project is as I began to record, I received a text message and it had cut off the recording. But we did get a lead prill of three grams. We are using a 15 gram cupel for our three gram lead prill. I apologize for the shaky camera. The wind is blowing about 20 miles per hour. And we did not get any precious metal at all. Well, this wraps up this episode of us working on our material from Colorado. We got zilch, but I hope you enjoyed the process because I know that this process would uh, enhance your gold prospecting and you're getting your precious metals out of your material. And if you like this episode, I encourage you to spank that like button and to share this on your channel so others can enjoy the process. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I would love to encourage encourage you to subscribe to our channel and to become part of our AU family. We would love to have you in our family. I would love to communicate with you and we're so thankful that you're here. We deeply appreciate your support and we will see you on the next one.